Hi Cancer, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Cancer, this is going to be your own reading today. And should this turn into a love reading, we're going to go to the extended and uh, where we talk all about this person, right? And uh, today, though, we're also going to uh, have the gypsy spread. We started in this reading and we completed in the other reading, right? And let's see what we have for you, Cancer. We have complicated and the warrior. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have for Cancer. And this card of chaos. So you're in a complicated situation. You could be feeling like you maybe are fighting, fighting for something with the warrior. Uh, it is chaotic and the tornado is here. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for you, Taurus. I mean, Cancer, I beg your pardon. Let's see what we have. And uh, let's take this card out of here because we don't belong in this deck. Let's see what we have for Cancer. Because they're all doing well here. And let's see what we have, Cancer, for you. For you. Let's look at the warrior card because I feel like it was just more than somebody who's fighting for something. We know you're fighting here, uh, right? You could be fighting back maybe, but uh, because there's chaos, right? And it's complicated. But let's see what else she says about the warrior, uh, which is interesting. It's the number two. Uh, let's see. And we have... Uh, my beloved child, when the warrior appears to you, it is such a fortunate sign that no matter what is happening to you in your life, you are truly protected. See what I mean? So this is very good. You are protected here, Cancer, and this is uh, really good, right? Let's see what we have for you, Cancer, and the heart of the matter is the Three of Cups reversed. And let's see. And this, let's see if that is indeed reversed. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and let's see. And let's get one more shuffle here. And the crossing energy for you, Capricorn, is the strength card. So you're doing your best to have courage about the three, about this three of cups, right? Uh, there could be, you could be unhappy, unhappy, right, right now. But something's complicated. And let's see what else we have. The highest expectations is the King of Wands. And coming into play is the Sun card. There could be a Leo here all the way. And, wow. And let's see. We have the Gemini card showing up, or the Lovers. This is how other people affect you. And we have the King of Cups. This is you, for sure, Cancer. How you affect other people. Your hopes and fears is the Four of Cups. So I feel like you are fearing that somebody's going to reject you, or maybe that you have to reject them. Or you're fearing you're going to just be kind of like living like unhappily with a situation. Yeah, either, right? So let's see why this Three of Cups is there and the Six of Pentacles. It looks like third party right here, especially Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah, and you're trying to do your best about courage. I feel like there could be some third party here possibly, or maybe there's just heartbreak and you're unhappy. And there's no balance in a situation. That could be the case here. But let's see. Six of Swords. So you either want to leave a situation or you are doing your best to have courage because you think somebody's leaving. This is typically leaving. It is uh, Sometimes it is just trying to get to calmer shores within. Right? Like this is too chaotic. Uh, for some of you guys it could be that energy. You might not be physically going. And let's look at uh, the highest expectations is the High Priestess and the King of, of Wands. There could be a secret here, possibly, with all these challenging, you know, these challenging cards here. But definitely you are dealing with something chaotic, uh, like, and there's conflict. I feel like there is, whether or not it's inner or with somebody else. The High Priestess card is showing up here with the Ace of Pentacles. So you think your highest expectations here is that somebody's going to have a new beginning. I don't feel like it's you. You're too challenged here. Unless, you know, this could be your goal. You want a new beginning maybe with, with Pisces or Scorpio or this King of Wands. But for me, you are like trying to do all you can here to like kind of like keep your spirits lifted about somebody else. 
that you're dealing with. And coming into play is the Sun card and the Page of Cups reversed. <clears throat> this could be you have clarity about somebody who's been lying, possibly. The Page of Cups, or you have clarity that somebody's going to offer their cup to somebody. Right? This Page of Cups reversed can talk about somebody who's been, like, not so honest. Because the Page of Cups is supposed to be somebody who comes earnest, like, kind of with, you know... It just is. Somebody earnest and honest. I feel like you have clarity here. And this is your highest expectations here is like, you just think this is going to happen. You're doing your best to have the courage. Five of Cups reversed. Like the new beginning is coming soon. It's coming into play. You, this is you. You think that somebody's having a new beginning here. And this is why you are in this warrior energy well, you are protected here, yeah, regardless, but complicated and chaos. So energy is leaving you, uh, leaving you, or past energies, nine of cups, eight of cups. Yeah, somebody's leaving to have their wish. It's possible it's you, but it doesn't appear that way. You might be, <clears throat> you might be like, you could have maybe decided to leave, but I feel like you're right here just doing all you can to have courage. You might be leaving right here. Thinking um, the Six of Swords is like sometimes leaving behind this energy where I have to leave because, you know, the, the calmer shore is somewhere else. Right? Just like people, you know, some people are th thinking, you know, that about everywhere around the world. Because there's a worldwide movement going on, you guys, and it's not good. I was trying to send out that uh, the, the link, you guys, but there's so much censoring, I can't even, yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm trying to figure out how to do that, right? Uh, how to share these, you know, links with people, but I can't, right now I'm not going to do it until I figure out kind of how to do it, yeah. Uh, there's major censoring going on. So let's get back to this reading. Let's see what we have. And this energy is leaving you. This is the star card now. Somebody left because they're inspired. They have a wish. Or they left to heal a, to heal a situation with somebody else. And this is coming like, this is soon, this three of swords. The ten of pentacles and the page of wands. Somebody's on their, uh, on their own path. And I feel like they are walking away from a marriage type union. Ten of pentacles. The lover's cancer is how other people affect you. Somebody's making a choice here, a really hard choice. This is not an easy choice for whoever is walking away here. No, it's not. And this could be your person's energy too, right? You may be protected from them, right? You could be the warrior in the middle and you are protected from their complicated energy and the chaos that they have brought. Somebody brought chaos here. This person. This person that you are dealing with brought chaos to your, to your relationship, to your marriage, to your life. Uh, and maybe they brought love in the past, but now it is, it's chaotic and it's ending. The King of Cups is how you affect them. The Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you're married to them. Ten of Cups. It's possible this is you leaving somebody to have a new beginning with somebody. Right? Ace of Pentacles, High Priestess, King of Wands. But this, I feel like, for some of you guys, this energy, this highest expectations here, is you understanding, like, intuitively, that this person is having a new beginning with somebody else. Like, this is you connecting to Source. Connecting to your intuition. Let's see how you are affecting them. Four of Swords. You could be putting them in major reflection about their situation. I mean, this could be saying you are kind of making them uh, heal another situation with somebody else. I don't feel like that's really it. But sometimes these positions show the, they show the kind of energies in odd ways. Like, this could be how they feel affected by you. They're going, you know, in another direction, 
right? Because you, they were married to you, Ten of Cups, so now they are in a new direction. Let's see what else we have. The Six of Cups reversed. This is how you are affecting other people. I feel like you are the one who's married to this person, and they're going back to somebody from their past. You could be doing this too. As I said, it could be a switch, switched reading because this is for the collective. But the storyline remains. And the hopes and fears, Cancer, is the Four of Cups and the Ace of Swords. You could be hoping that they will reject somebody here and that you could have victory with them, but I don't really feel like that's this energy. I feel like more, more or less you could be fearing here that they are like, that there's going to be rejection here because they're walking away over here, Eight of Cups. You might be walking away too from the situation. That's what you could be doing that right here. And you could be doing that with your courage. Like, I got to walk away from this. I can't, for some of you guys, I can't like stay here and like see this kind of. You could be, you know, you could be hope. This is interesting. You could be hoping to have your own victory kind of. But I feel like you are fearing here that there's a rejection, right? Because it's like, this is kind of like, you know, maybe you are hoping that they're going to reject this other person, but I feel like this is, I feel like it's way past that. If this is indeed the situation between, if this is kind of the roles you play. The Ace of Swords, I feel like you're fearing here that they are having victory. Yeah. So we're going to end this reading and we have the outcome right here. And let's see, though, let's uh, begin the extended, uh, the gypsy spread for you, Cancer. And then, of course, we always complete it in the other reading. Yeah, this, okay, so let's see what we have for you guys. The bottom of the deck is the Servant card. The Servant card can be somebody who is kind of... It can be somebody who gives in, like, I need to give in to the situation because I really want it. And it's possible your person is giving in to somebody from their past, like, it can be that, yeah. So let's see what we have for Cancer and the person. And the present situation is the Joyfulness card, the past was the Size card, the Soldier is unfolding, and the Obstacle is the doctor. Somebody cares here. That's the obstacle. And the outcome is going to be melancholy. So we're going to we're going to visit revisit this in the extended, and we're going to of course clarify and elaborate that reading. And we're also going to talk about your person's current situation and what's challenging them. Cancer, what they want, what they could be afraid of, or what they're doubting, how they feel about you how they see the situation, what they could be hiding from you, and their outcome. They're all super affordable. And thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.